concerns the next default of Barbados' market share for the export of goods to the national economy at first the people, and thereafter some other new trade paths beginning with the Canada are put in their head. The second concerns the great potential for a substantial loss of Canadian investment in our international business and financial sectors. As Canada extends to others, the special benefits that have over the past 30 years seen Barbados emerge as the location for the third highest concentration of Canadian investment in the entire world. Third, the incentives Barbados has used over the course of the past 30 years to promote its manufacturing and international businesses have been judged to be incompatible with Article 27.4 of the WTO's Agreement on Subsidies and countervailing Measures. We have received a waiver on the dismantling to the end of December 2015. Great changes the flow from the dismantlement. There is no evidence of a considered response to these forces, these three forces, in either the government's medium term fiscal strategy or its medium term development strategy documents, which are to be considered by the social partners of various next year. Less to themselves, these three forces together with the emerging growth path, will act like the economic equivalent of four trains converging from four different points to collide at the same point, at the same time, with potentially great damage to our domestic economy.